In this section, we're going to be looking at an application of Kalman filtering, and in particular, how we can use it to smooth potentially noisy eye tracking gaze data uh, from a visual saliency task. I'm Byron Galbraith. I'm the co-founder and CTO of a startup called Tala, uh, and my research interests are around non-invasive brain-computer interface systems, neuromorphic robotic control-based systems, and general agent-based learning. How do embodied agents and systems learn, um, and in particular in a practical, real-world applied setting? So here's an image taken from this visual saliency task that we're, we're going to be exploring. Uh, and very briefly, visual saliency uh, is the idea of what in an image draws our attention, what draws our gaze. Uh, and so subjects were asked to stare at a screen, fixated the center of a screen, and an image like this appeared, and they were given a few seconds to just sort of freely gaze around the image as, as whatever drew their attention. Um, and then their gaze was tracked over time using an eye tracking device. And it looks like this. Um, and so we have uh, a series of samples that were taken at regular intervals as the subject gazed around the, the, the image. And so what we want to look at today is how can we take this, this data and find a smooth estimate out to remove potential sources of noise. So in an eye tracking experiment, noise can come from just changes in ambient light, uh, the subject's head moved too far away from the initial calibration point, uh, they blinked, things like that. Okay, so we've got our data, we've got our challenge. We're going to use this tool called PyCallman to, to handle this. And so PyCallman is a Python library that implements everything we've been talking about today so far and more, um, but particularly just gives you a tool to do Kalman filtering on data. Um, and so uh, you specify your, in, in this case, the hidden state, uh, which will be two sort of X and Y coordinates of where the eye gaze is, um, the dimensionality of our observations, which in this case is also two, the um, you know actual sort of observed X and Y coordinates of the pixels. And then we tell it what uh, parameters we want it to fit using the expectation maximization algorithm. Uh, and so in this case, it's the transition matrices F, the transition covariance is Q, the observation matrices H, and the observation covariance R. So now we've set up our common uh, filter object with the sort of things we want it to find, we need to give it some data. Uh, and so in this case, we take our data um, and we need to give it initial state uh, mean um, value, which we're going to take as the center of the image because we know subjects were all looking at the center of the image when they started. Um, and that's sort of the first data point in our data uh, stream. And then um, we're going to give a small amount of noise as our sort of initial covariance estimate. Um, and then once we have all this, we just say, uh, EM on the data, and so the PyCommon library will then run the expectation maximization algorithm on our data set to try to fit those parameters that we specified. This will run for a few seconds uh, or more, and eventually it'll stop, and then you'll be able to go and look at these parameters, and they should look something like this. So uh, in this case, we'll take a look, and we've got um, you know our, our F, our state transition matrix here, uh, and one thing that's worth noting um, is that the model fit is basically we're looking at the identity matrix. Uh, it's got some slight variation, but that's what it is. And, and the same thing for our, our age, sort of our state to observed um, transition as well. And the way we can interpret that is that these are largely independent, that the current coordinate has sort of very little dependence on of x, for instance, on y and, and vice versa, um, both on the sort of state transition as well as then the observed representation. The noise covariances, though, are, are pretty large. Uh, for this subject's data in particular, um, you know, and again, these values, just to remind you, are in pixels. Um, so that's why they might look large, especially in this case. So now that we have this, we can go back and apply our, our filtering or our common smoothing to the data to sort of see if we can get a, a better sort of true estimate of that continuous gaze sweep. And it looks like this. So here we have on the right the that original image, um, and the green is sort of our fit smooth approximation of, of what we saw. Um, and we can actually take what we fit for this one subject, and we can apply it to a couple other images that we have available uh, in this data set. Uh, and so here we have a stained glass window where they looked at, uh, you can see they kind of gazed largely at the text, um, but we can see a nice, again, pretty smooth uh, approximation of, of what they're looking at. Um, and then again, on the scene that we saw at the top of the uh, tutorial section today, um, this, this urban sort of scene, we can see that this person in particular was looking kind of all over the place. Um, but we still have a, a pretty decent approximation, I think, of our of their of their gaze estimate. So that's been that's helpful. Um, another question is actually, can we use this? So we were able to apply this to images uh, from the same subject. What if we took their fit model and applied it to other subjects? And we can do that as well. And we see that it seems like it does a pretty good job. Um, again, we've we've got this sort of transition on the right, you know, in the center and the left. 
of these three images for a different subject, and that that same fit model seems to do a pretty good job of giving us a smooth estimate of the gaze. Uh, and so what you're going to be doing with, with this section is you're going to explore the this data set um, and the PyCalman library to sort of see how you can uh, apply Kalman filtering uh, to data. And so hopefully you'll get a, a sense of how you can use this tool maybe for your own experiments. All right, have fun. <laughs>